Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. In center of Ving Halo 3, 12 inch blue Mark VI Spartan. This figure was released in 2008. It was a Walmart exclusive and retailed for $39.99. This blue Mark VI Spartan is almost a complete repaint of the 12 inch Master Chief that was also released in 2008, with the only exception being, other than color, is that there's no battle damage on the chest plate. Like I previously mentioned in the 12 inch Master Chief review, McFarlane basically took the 5 inch scale figures and increased their size, adding in stronger joints, some new articulation, and brand new accessories. The head sculpt is a Mark VI helmet, with headlights sculpted on, silver and black paint details, and a visor that's painted in a reflective gold color. The armor has multiple plates, and at the seams, it's outlined in black. And if you look closely, the armor is actually heavily textured too. The shoulder plates and chest plate are also Mark VI. Throughout the armor is multiple blue lights, including four large ones right above the knees. There's also peg holes here and there for weapon and grenade display, including these two on the cod plate. Underneath the armor is a heavily detailed black jumpsuit with a gray dry brushing applied to it. And on the right bicep and thigh is a yellow stripe with the Roman numerals for six. Weapons and accessories include an assault rifle that's painted in black, silver, and green. And it can also attach to the various peg holes. And a frag grenade, which can be mounted in his left hand with a peg and hole system. And the articulation for the 12 inch blue Mark VI Spartan includes a ball jointed head, swivel shoulders with a ball joint at the bicep, ball hinge elbows, ball jointed wrists, ball jointed waist, swivel hips with a ball joint, ball hinge knees, ball hinge ankles, ball hinge toes, and individually ball jointed fingers on the right hand with a hinge joint for each finger. So for about $40, it was a good figure, but it just lacked variety, because most people would have preferred a different armor rather than the same Mark VI over and over again. It's still a really good large piece that'll look excellent in anyone's Halo collection. So anyways, that pretty much does it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Subscribe for hundreds of collectible reviews, including Halo and Star Wars, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-date channel news.